Recycling and Disposal Solutions, which provides commercial, residential, and industrial recycling services throughout Southwest Virginia, has four AMP Cortex Intelligent Robotics Systems in one of its Roanoke facilities for quality control, as well as for sorting, PET, HDPE, plastic film, cups, metal on its fiber, container, and residue lines. AMP offers the industry's most extensive classification capability, identifying items by material composition, form factor, color, and more. AMP's technology helped RDS stabilize its sorting workforce, improve productivity, and increase capacity. Uh, RDS is a recycling company. We recycle uh, anything from our garbage, our plastics, our papers. We sell within domestic or export if necessary, depending on which facility it is. Our bottom line has improved drastically. It's been a very good improvement in the sense of one, efficiency, but then also uh, you see a complete difference in the grade of material, which helps you understand the function of the robots versus not having them. I like the uh, robots a lot. It seems like it's a lot less work for us. The way things come in in the end product, you know, the quality of what we put out, is it's kind of amazing to watch, you know. I had gotten in touch with Joe, the president, about um, just how the recycling markets were rebounding from some policy changes internationally and how to kind of get back on track and how RDS was able to uh, still operate through that. AMP has been able to um, help improve our sorting processes. The robots are able to identify um, by scanning through different properties of the materials. Plastic bottles um, collect things like cardboard, remove uh, other contaminants like plastic bags down the stream, and so helping to improve that sorting process. Protect people from the exposure to different materials and um, they can't get injured if there's something sharp in there, things like that. I mean, it's a new advanced technology and um, it's, it also provides a new opportunity for people to kind of work on the interface and uh, keeps kind of the whole plant running at this point. So we're, we've been excited about that and hopefully we'll be able to expand those to other facilities as well. 